Nearpod makes every lesson interactive, engaging, and fun. It provides formative assessments such as polls, quizzes, and open-ended questions that provide you with data in real time. This helps you to understand what you need to reteach, your next steps in reteaching, or simply enrichment. With Nearpod, there are over 20 plus formative assessments and dynamic media features to help you with your teaching and improve your student outcomes. Additionally, you can adapt your instruction or address any misconceptions on the fly. There are simple and easy polls and quizzes that you can use with your students that provide differentiated instruction that will give your students extra support to meet your students where they are, wherever they may be, whether in the classroom, remote, or hybrid. Nearpod provides a one-stop shop for interactive videos, gamification, and activities. It's easy for your students to participate in the lessons that you assign to them. To get started, the first thing you will need to do is to log into your Nearpod account. Logging into your Nearpod account is simple and easy. Using the credentials that were provided to you through your East Baton Rouge Parish account, you will log into your Nearpod account. This is a single sign-on login. Once you click on Login, you will go in to sign in with Google. Again, these are the same credentials that you have with your existing EBR account. Once you are there, your Nearpod main page will appear. This is where your lessons are housed. If you have not used Nearpod, it may ask you to authenticate and just simply allow those permissions so that you can proceed on. Once you're here, you can begin lessons by creating lessons or organize your lessons in folders. Creating lessons are simp is simple and fun. Simply go to the Create button and drop down, and you can begin with a lesson, a video, or an activity. Additionally, we have already made lessons in Nearpod. On the left-hand side of the screen is our Nearpod menu. If you scroll down to the Nearpod library, it will bring you to an abundance of resources. These resources include lessons, videos, and activities that are divided into subjects such as world languages, English arts, English language arts, math, science, and social studies. These also can be broken down into grade bands. Another great feature of Nearpod is the featured activities that are usually changed within the month to meet a thematic unit or to um, address holidays. You can also choose from videos, activities, and lessons. You can even go by publishers. To find a specific lesson, simply find your subject area select that subject area and grade level. This will show results for social studies second grade. If you are looking for something in particular, such as the history of a flag, you can type it into the search bar at the top and it will search the Nearpod library. Once you have found your lessons, You can preview your lessons by clicking on the lesson and scrolling through. This will allow you to vet to see if these are things that you can use within your classroom. If you choose to use this one, you can add this lesson to your Nearpod lesson library simply by clicking on Add to My Lessons. Once you have added that lesson to your lesson library, you click on the Nearpod icon, it will take you back home, and you will see that your lesson is right here. Of course, at times we may select a lesson that may need a little bit more editing or tweaking based on our students' needs. Just hover over that lesson and click on Edit. 
and it will give you the option whether to duplicate this lesson and keep it in its original form or to edit that lesson as is. If this was given to me by someone else, I probably would duplicate it first and then edit the lesson. Since we know that it's available in our Nearpod library, I don't need to duplicate it because I can always go back and search for it. So I'm just going to select Edit Lesson. Once I select Edit Lesson, it will break my lesson down and I can take out the components that I think that I don't need. And I can also add in things that I think I do need. For example, there are several videos, statements, and slides within our um, Nearpod lesson. Let's just say, for instance, that I don't want to include the poll here, but I want it to move it around to um, take place right here. I can move that slide. Additionally, if I decided that I did not want to have as many videos, I can delete those slides simply by clicking on it and deleting the slide. Once I click my confirmation that I would like to delete it, I have created a slide show just the way that I need it for my students. When I'm done, I can click on save and exit and it will save it back into my Nearpod library the way that I needed it to be presented to my students. To assign this to my students, I can either do a live participation or I can do a student pace participation. Live participation allows the students to work on this lesson at the same time with their peers and with myself. Student pace allows the students to work on it at their own pace and time. This is perfect for differentiating instructions for your students. Additionally, it can also give them more time to complete lessons. If I select the student pace lesson, I am able to give them a specific date in which I would like this lesson to be returned to me or to be completed. I can change those dates and times here. I'm assigning it on the 13th of June and it's giving them until the 13th of July to complete it. I can make it three days long or I can make it four days long. I can make it one day long, whatever works best for my students. Once I'm done, I'm going to click on apply changes and it gives me one day to complete this assignment. If I wanted to allow my students to have different lessons, I would simply duplicate this lesson and tailor it to the students' needs and give them extended time. The greatest thing about Nearpod is that it gives us um, real-time data. I can select View Progress and get any of the progress of the lessons so far from all of my students. We just assigned the lesson, so as of now, we don't have any students that have completed the lessons. It's letting me know that it's waiting for the students to sign in, and it will also let me know who has completed the lessons or where they are within the lessons. It will also allow me to see the students' names, and if they're actually engaged and active in the lesson, it will show me here. This is absolutely perfect. No more walking around the classroom to engage with your students to see if they're completing lessons. You can actually check it here and assist students and tailor to them with more one-on-one -on -one needs. Once we get back to our Nearpod library, there are several things you can also do with this. We can uh, share this lesson with teachers. We can duplicate this lesson in case we wanted to make additional copies so that we can tailor it for our students. And we can add to our lessons school library, our district library, or we can place it in a folder. Once students are completed with their lessons, we can always go back and examine the data for the lessons by choosing reports. Reports will allow us to see where the students were successful and where they may need additional help in completing their lessons. If you have any additional questions about Nearpod, please be sure to email me, Angelica Johnson Smith, at anjohnson at ebrschools.org. Thanks for watching.